Hello, this is Margot McShane. I've recently just set up a WhatsApp, no, sorry, a Facebook group called Margot McShane Poetry, and I've just launched my first ever fundraising um, crowdfunder for to raise money to publish for, to publish my poems. Um, basically, all my poems are about my life experiences, including sexual assault, the NHS being sectioned, dealing with the police at protests, and in terms of sexual assault and um i've um yeah i've i've been i basically finally got over my trauma in a six month period when getting free counseling and mental advocate with the women and girls network so if i do make more money than i need for the book then i'm going to donate it to the women and girls network um and so yeah so this is day five since i launched it so far my lovely friend who i haven't seen in a very long time jack has donated 10 pound which i really appreciate thank you so much jack and um um, yeah, so whatever I know that I'm, I'm not quite sure when the deadline is or when I need to raise the money or if I get to get the money, keep the money, whatever. I'm not sure. I don't. I need to read into the details, but I chose just giving because it's the most um, well-known um, fun, like fundraising page for charities and for individuals. Um, so I'll see how we go. I might change to a different one if it seems to be better. Like a, last time I did it for a proper crowd, for a natural crowd for the website, and they gave me a lot of support in getting my getting my video out there. Um, so my the first video I made about um, like the, the launch basically um, is basically also on my YouTube channel Margaret McShane. Um, so um, basically my crowdfunding page is just justgiving.com forward like I think it's like forward slash crowdfunding forward slash Margaret McShane. But I, there should be a link below or on Facebook or on your message that I've sent you because I've set, set up a Facebook group as well just so that I can upload these videos onto them. Um, so yeah, I've been I've been writing the last couple. Of, so basically, whenever I'm manic, I do a lot of writing. Um, so I'll give you a sh I'll, I'll give you I've got a very long one, but I'll give you a short one, just so you can get an idea. So this one's called "People Are Like Vegetables." Um, have you ever heard the analogy that people are like onions? It has the has the tough, dry, flaky brown skin on the outer side that tastes horrible. When you take off the the tough layer, you find a clear clear film this is the last layer of self-defense once you remove that layer you get you get overwhelming fumes that make you cr make your eyes sting when you cut into the soft flesh you become overwhelmed by emotion and your eyes go red and puffy and, and tears come rolling down your face each layer of the onion you cut makes you cry more and more you are now exposing the, the naked flesh of the onion so that's that's one of my that's one of the poems I wrote yesterday, and then I've got another poem that I can read you. I'll just read two. It's another short one. This one's called Passion Flower. So if anyone's ever seen a passion flower, basically a very beautiful flower, which is purple, yellow, and cream, and basically kind of looks like it's been dissected. Like every single component of the flower is is exposed, and so it's really really beautiful. It's like my favorite flower in the world. And uh, I'm a gardener, that's why I know about some gar some gardening stuff and flowers. So this is my this is my poem about passion flower. Passion flower is the is my favourite flower. It's almost it almost looks alien, and I like the flower. I, and like the flower has been dissected as a, as a science experiment. You can see every part of the flower clearly in beautiful colours. It also has tight spirals representing the spirals of life, either positive or negative. With depression, you you overanalyze things and keep over over overthinking and bringing yourself further down. When you become high, like when you are on drugs, you have excessive energy, like a child with OCD. When manic, I am very blunt and direct, which people end up, which which I end up in many arguments with my girl, with my friends with my friends and family. So that's just an example of some poetry I've written recently. Um, I've got a lot more poetry. I've, I've got a poem. I'm writing at the moment, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm up to part three because it's the longest poem I've ever written. It's basically called I Don't Half Pick Em. So that would be probably the next video will be the I Don't Half Pick Em video. But basically it's about my choice in relationships over the last few years while having while dealing with having bipolar type 2. So if you can, if you, if you are able to support me in basically publishing some of my poetry, um, then please do give whatever you can afford. And... Um, and yeah, hopefully, hopefully, we'll, I'll be able to publish the book soon. But I've also got a lot of writing to do as well to finish off the whole book. I've got a, a lot of poems, but I have some more that I need to write, which is relevant to the book. So, um, so yeah, so please donate money to 
to my crowdfunding page and I hope, hope um, I'll give you another update soon. Thank you very much. Bye.